We're Kat and Gareth and in 2019, we got married. That same year, we got Mo, the Movano. We travel round full time in our van with our cat, Honey. In 2022, we got Daisy Daff. Here's our van build and here's our life so far. Just about to start up and then get it down to Bridge Beyond the Van. Woo, flash. the cab down and we just tied her up and she starts straight away. When we started her up, she started um, smoking inside. So Rich and Gareth are just having a look to see if it's still smoking or whether we're gonna go on fire. Um, fingers crossed, hopefully not, That's, fingers crossed. This is the moment Gareth tries to kill me. We're now leaving the van and we're off. We're all going to drive up um, to Beyond the Van HQ and um, to Richard's unit. And we're going to carry on with the welding and the building of the truck. So we've left the van. Left the van. So we've left the van. Go, my wonder wall. <laughs> So we've come to see Richard at Beyond the Van and he's going to help us with our next stages of pork truck build. So starting with our door and our door frame. Richard from Beyond the Van came up to the barn to help us with our, with our truck. So he came up, he welded the driver's side of the cab just so it was secure for us to drive uh, back down to uh, Beyond the Van HQ. And uh, yeah, so we tilted the cab back down and we were able to drive it away. So when we were driving it away, when we left, just down the bottom of the hill, uh, turned the corner and the door flew open. <laughs> Which obviously then we realized the lock had dropped off. <laughs> so we managed to tie it up with some, we managed to tie it with some rope. Uh, yeah, we managed to get the, we managed to get all the way down here and um, without any, any problems at all. When we started the van up, after it being tilted for, for eight weeks, um, a little bit of moisture we got into the uh, into parts of it. And we spotted some smoke, <laughs> which is a little bit distressing. Um, so uh, yeah, but then, uh, so with further investigation, we found it to be a converter from 24 volts to 12 volts. So we don't need this. So we're gonna show you inside of our 80 ton vehicle, because 80, it means it's 80 ton, when it should be the other way around, eight ton, apparently. Don't look at the mess. So yeah, we originally thought it was, it was this at the first, but we didn't think quite because it wasn't really showing any signs of, of, of being on fire. It was coming from a different place, it was coming from further over. So uh, we took this out, not a problem with that. We tested it, it's fine. So the radio still works? Yep, radio still works, so we can have some tunes. Uh, but yes, it was definitely this. So uh, check your power converters, guys, because yeah, there was, that's black, so it's pretty bad. So this is the culprit. It's a power converter from 24 volts to 12. And if you can see in here, if you can see inside, which we'll show you now. You see inside there, there's a couple of capacitors which went on fire. A flux capacitor? Flux capacitor, yes. The good gigawatts. It had a lots of jigger wiggy, jiggy wiggy watts, whatever they're called. But you can see the actual black bit there, it was actually flames. 
it was it was all smoke. <laughs> but yeah, that was the only thing. So that's that's a good that's a bonus. So there's nothing else wrong with the cap, which is which is well, there's nothing else wrong with the electronics in the cap. There aren't any electronics in the cap. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with the dashboard in the cap. Apart from we nearly went on fire. Apart from we nearly went on fire, baby. but it's only a little fire. We won't talk about that. And and it was near bonfire night, so it was quite <laughs> fitting no that if that if we did go on fire, it was the perfect night. Richard here at Beyond the Van, he's got some really good ideas about how we're going to do the back door and our storage system, which everybody calls the garage area, or the, the garage area here, and then our area there so it's gonna be yeah he's got some really interesting ideas yeah so Richard Rich is gonna help us back with some uh, other projects on uh, in between his projects I'm doing the cam bell on the LDV which hasn't had one changed for about 15 years so I think it's well and truly overdue and obviously everybody does a cam belt with a pressure washer for me I'm just painting today I'm just refreshing Mo um, just doing the cupboards today I've already done the worktop and the floor so we're just refreshing the cupboards um, and I'm painting um, some fence panels for Rich in like green because that's his signature colour. What are you doing? Yo. Oh, we're making big plans. Big plans. Big plans. Big exciting plans. Because it looks happen. like it looks like I'm doing all the work, and you girls are just chatting. We are, yeah. We are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The man who knows what he's doing. All, all we're missing is the hot chocolate. Oh. Well, man. There's the man who knows what he's doing, <laughs> and there's a, there's, a, there's a dude in here that's going, mm, yeah, I'm not sure yet. But no, no, we're making plans and we're getting somewhere, aren't we? We are, yeah. Yeah. yeah what's the plans? A, uh, we've we've set out the door frame. Ooh. Just working out the, the batten situation inside in the installation and um, the moisture barrier under the floor. The moisture barrier under the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The future proof one that can cater for spinaches. And it's sorting the door out. And what I mean by sorting the door out is that we're going to put a bit of a frame around it so we're going to stop any water ingress coming in. And to do that, we've got some advice from Richard and he's going to weld up a piece of um, three millimeter steel, flat steel, as a frame around the door and then uh, we're going to put a, a weather sealer door, uh, we're going to put a door weather sealant strip around the frame and then that will then stop the water from coming in from the outside. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and watched the videos and for your likes and especially for your comments really appreciate them and um, please keep them coming because we really appreciate any advice and help on this build because we've never done anything like this before so thank you so much Brett what are you chopping that for? Ready to go to Scotland <laughs> yes Scotland lovely we have a massive source of water without topping up it's the water troll it spits at you Just to make sure. <laughs> you like to get your money's worth? It's supposed to blow, not suck. Is it 60 in the back? Huh? Yeah, 55 in the front. If you reached this far in the video, well done, thank you very much.